welcome to your update guys remember this could be your energy the energy of someone you're connected to or the circumstance um understand that this um is a reading that could play out from the perspective of the cross watcher and i don't read um gender so this is not a gender specific reading and um whenever you come across this reading understand that it's for you okay um but take what resonate only don't try to make anything fit and let the rest go okay Sagittarius so it's been a couple days since I did an update for you guys but I'm have a lot that I'm working on and um, we're needing to get out all the rest of the signs for the month okay so um, any cross watchers or anyone that's not a Sagittarius sign that has other Sag placements or really we're all every sign okay so I explained that to you guys also so do not limit yourself to just one sign we're every sign okay but um, all the rest of the signs okay which include Gemini Taurus Aries and Pisces Aquarius and Capricorn will be out okay by Wednesday okay before the first all right so Sagittarius I have a little story for you okay angels I have a little story that played out in my vision that I feel is important that you know and somehow correlates to your message today um so you know the story of Rapunzel right and how there's like a prince that comes by because Rapunzel obviously is, you know, stuck in this high little cave that the Wicked Witch, you know, placed her in. Um, or was it a stepmother? I'm not, I don't remember. But either way, she's trapped in this tree cave and because someone's jealous of her hair and, um, This prince comes by and um, I guess somehow glimpses, you know, her in this tree and he starts calling out to her, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, lie down your hair so I can climb the golden stair. And, you know, she interacts with this prince for a period of time before she's caught and the wicked witch or stepmother or whoever cuts off of cuts off all of her hair out of spite and vindictiveness and evilness so for a period of time this prince was unable to um to see his beloved so what i'm getting here is that it's a little bit darker than that story you know it's someone who and this is a song that I kept getting I'm not even sure that the name of it or if it's or who sings it but I just have this lyric going over and over in my head and it's um or this chorus I better find I better find your loving I better find your heart like I better find your loving I better find your heart I better find your loving I better find your heart. I'm not even sure if that's the correct chorus, but that's what keeps playing over and over and over again. So I'm getting this image of someone who stole someone or stole their energy or someone who trapped someone or captured someone, okay? Trapped their victim in some way. And a victim could be a literal victim or just someone could be trapped in a relationship, you know, or they didn't understand the the nature of someone they were with, or it could literally be something about a victim and a captor, okay, that I'm picking up on. But they trapped their victim and they left for a period of time, or they had a way of controlling this victim from afar. I hey. But someone came back to find that their victim was free or that they had escaped 
in some way. Now, this captor began to bond with their victim and maybe thought that their victim had bonded with them, but this victim escaped, okay? Escaped the manipulation? Somehow, this captor was able to live with themselves through the energy of this cap, this, this victim. And when this, they came back to find out that this victim was gone, they looked in the mirror and they started to really see themselves for who they were. Their, their image was distorted in the mirror and they realized that they were a demon or dark. They needed this captor's, they needed this victim's energy. And now this captor is desperate, desperately wandering, searching for their victim. And guys, take this figuratively. It could be literal, but this is just the story that's playing out in my mind. So this captor is obsessively looking for this victim and they're like, I better find my, I better find your loving. I better find your heart. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. And it's just playing over and over and over and over again. Okay, so um, they don't understand what happened, but there's someone or something that came to release this, this victim. And it, it wasn't a prince this time, like in Rapunzel. This is something powerful. This is something greater. A king or an emperor or something even more powerful than that that helped this, this victim. I wouldn't even call them a victim, but they are free. They're free. I'm getting Pisces, very strong. Pisces moon, very strong. I'm getting all the water signs, Cancer and Scorpio, all moon placements for sure. Maybe a, a Pisces sun. And I'm getting Aquarius and Gemini. Okay. Let's get a quick message in for Sagittarius. Yeah. Kind of a warped Rapunzel story. But that's that's what I, I see. It's kind of like a happy ending. Um, I'm just going to pull an overall energy, like kind of like the most important energy uh, that's stimming this reading, online source, divine spirit, archangels, and ancestors, my higher self, and my galactic team of the highest light and resonance, star races, star family, allow me to be the clear channel, show me clearly. We're going to need to see some Sagittarius placements. We have the title card. Okay. This represents knowing thyself. Okay. I don't know why there's such a odd light to this. But this represents knowing thyself. Okay. All my title cards represent someone who's on a journey to remember to know themselves okay um this also um is speaking to me about protection esoteric knowledge indigenous past life energy 
okay? And I feel like someone is walking into um, opportunity, you know, a promotion or an initiation or gaining some type of the keys, you know, when you think of a title, you think of like a keys to a home, a keys to um, a car, just ascension keys, codes. Someone could definitely be, um, get, you know, getting a new home, a new car, or this can represent a marriage license or some type of inheritance, okay? But I will go ahead and take the bottom of the deck card, okay? The main energy surrounding this, this reading is the Eight of Swords. And what did I say, guys? What did I say? There's an energy of captor victim. Gemini energy, Eight of Swords represents someone feeling trapped in a situation. But it's more of a mental prison because if you look closely, I don't know why there's such a glare. There's not really much that's that's keeping this this woman here. I mean, there are some swords in front of this broad doorway that she could easily jump over. The water doesn't seem that deep. Even if you can't swim, I think it's it's worth taking the risk if you are trapped. She's not bound to the seat. She's not she's not trapped, okay. But it's, it's a feeling of being trapped. All right. Feeling bound to something. Feeling isolated, disappointed, imprisoned. Okay. So we're going to clarify that. We'll also see what this title card represents. Okay, Sagittarius? Hmm. We're going to pull an oracle that we're going to clarify and then we're going to see how you feel about this situation. I feel like this journey or whatever these keys are, this protection, Whatever this represents is allowing someone to break free. To release themselves from something. And it could represent, of course, energy that someone felt trapped in. Okay. Let's get an oracle to clarify. Let's get an oracle. closet the closet okay so we have a lot of cards that represent something that's hidden this could represent you know we have the the colors there it represents someone coming out of the closet about their sexuality okay um, this could represent Someone being open just about who they are, uncovering someone's secrets, something that's hidden. When you open the closet wide and expose its contents, 
you're liberated, right? You're liberated. You have number 10, there's a cycle that's ending for you, Sagittarius. Here we have a lot of blue and yellow. So this is about being confident and speaking your truth about something, okay? Someone had to stand up to their captor. Someone had to stand up to some negative energies. Someone had to be confident in themselves. This could represent you or someone else, okay? Like I said, someone is, is protected or being guided um, on a path, on a journey, okay, of self-discovery, truth, which is freeing them. It says voice your concerns. Voice your concerns, okay? Something is is guiding the way, enlightening someone's path, freeing someone from the confines of a mental prison or a literal prison or a relationship or a family or the shadow that's been resisted within. Okay, I think someone's like discovering themselves, learning how to love themselves, learning how to face themselves. Someone may have been through a very difficult, challenging cycle of a lot of psychic attacks, energetic vampires around, all around. This could represent mental illness, depression, anxiety. Again, feeling trapped, feeling under attack and repressed, repressed emotions, needing to heal some deep emotions in terms of self-love and ancestral wounds and generational curses, psychic attacks, confusion, negativity. Something to do with the feminine energies. I better find your love and I better find your heart. Someone could be just searching for their own, their own heart. Weaving through everything to find self-love. And this is also representing, again, I feel like, um... Someone is losing their energy source within a connection. And they are on a war path. They're looking for what got away because they're having to face themselves, parts of themselves that are really have been pushed down and hidden. With their energy source gone, they're forced to see themselves for what they truly are. Someone could be resisting this because they're still on this obsessive search. I better find your love in. I better find your heart. But I feel like someone is on their own path. They've been awakened, they've been rescued, or they've been, they're being guided. Without their hair, with their hair. The hair, I believe, represents detaching. And in the detaching, someone has found their space, their intuition. They're being guided. They were guided out of the, the tower, out of the cave. And they're free. How does 
Sagittarius feel about the situation? How does Sagittarius feel about the situation? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? This is what did you want from me? That song, What Do You Want From Me by Adam Lambert comes to my head. There was once upon a there was once upon a time that I would give myself away. There was once upon a time that someone would have felt victim or did fall victim or would have dumbed themselves down, would have given over their power, would have diminished their power and given control of their energy to someone else for love. I feel like someone like in the song, just don't give up. I'm working it out. Just don't give in. You want to know what did what did they want from you? What did your captor really want from you? I think you can save my life. Okay. So Let's clarify this. I'm gonna use the Aquarian Tarot. Okay. Um, so can we clarify um, the, the ancestral path? The, the title card. What does the title card represent? You have the High Priestess in reverse. <clears throat> okay. Um, Pisces. I like to think of the High Priestess as Scorpionic energy, but it's moon energy, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, in reverse, okay, this represents secrets, this represents psychic forces, manipulation, control, an organization, <clears throat> manipulation of energy, there's someone that wants what you have or wanted your energy, wanted your title, or wanted you, okay? This could be a karmic energy, a past life contract that someone is, des is relentless on fulfilling, okay? In the beginning of the reading, we had the little story about Rapunzel and how because of what someone had, they were trapped. And it was, it was you know, Someone attempted to take what they thought was someone's source of knowledge or someone's source of abundance in some way. You know, someone wanted to attack your third eye, okay? Your intuition. Six of Cups. I feel like 
there is some type of negative entity that this could have something to do with a divine connection because we have the six of cups here scorpionic energy or water um the six of cups can represent a past life connection an important relationship and a, a powerful bond um it is in relation to memories okay um childhood memories this is an energy of upright nostalgia right six represents lovers and i feel like there was an entity or a force okay that was very influential in trying to take the title trying to keep um counterparts okay or keep something positive and divine away from someone or apart two entities apart two energies apart from each other okay this this is something that goes way back karmic energy this high priestess in reverse may have been a very um, significant influence over a divine connection again manipulating energy to create darkness hence cutting off Rapunzel's hair to try and keep some energies apart Maybe it worked. Maybe it didn't. But we do know that. In the story of Rapunzel, a prince came. But in this situation, something more powerful came. So someone could have overcome this energy of this high priestess in reverse. Some type of spell. And has healed. And has elevated. Stepped into their power. And is now not a prince. They are a king or an emperor, or even higher, okay? A higher force. Or someone could have became victim to this, this, this empress in reverse. Someone who may have been connected to some type of entity, succubus, incubus energy, and fell victim. And some other higher force came and freed their captor freed their victim from captivity and now there's someone who may have been controlled and in cahoots with this high priestess someone didn't even know their own heart. They were so under an illusion that someone was fueled by control and manipulation. Now their victim, which really may have been a important connection is gone has been freed and someone is now wandering without that energy source looking in the mirror recognizing who they are I better find your love and I better find your heart I better find your love and I better find your heart six of cups so there could be different scenarios but this is what this is a battle for someone's spot for someone's light for someone's third eye trying to keep someone from recognizing who they are what they're connected to their purpose but below the six of cups we have this ace of cups A divine blessing from the universe. This could represent a new beginning. This could represent someone freeing themselves, someone embarking on a journey 
of creativity, being blessed with the ability to create heightened gifts, freedom, freedom to love. Someone didn't lose their ability to love. And this can represent, again, whatever was taken from someone, whatever was taken from Rapunzel while being captive, whatever this wicked queen, witch, stepmother thought they were taking by removing her hair and taking her gifts, it only allowed for someone to be rewarded with abundance of a higher state. There is no competition on the divine plane. What is meant for you will be yours. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the ending here, this 10 energy. Um, someone voicing their concerns. So much yellow so much yellow the 10 energy represents the will of fortune um there's been a change in the tides of destiny all right and someone is definitely speaking voicing their concerns throat chakra is opening up someone asked for strength and they received it um this is the energy of endless possibilities. Okay, Leo energy, eight, abundance. This is a healing of the feminine energy. Venus and Mars are in Leo. Okay, so expect power. Expect fire. Fire and earth. healing. Sagittarius, you could have and some of you could have a balance of fire, earth, and water in your chart. Here we have Virgo energy or earth. We have Leo energy or fire. And we have all of this blue here, okay, which represents the ethers to me. Okay, so um, Scorpio, Pisces, okay, ultimately there's an expansion here that's happening for you. Um, I feel like someone could have highly aspected Mars placements, like Mars and Leo. or the sun in Leo with, um, you know, Sag as a moon sign or rising, okay? But these nine of pentacles energy represents sovereignty, um, sovereignty and um, a beautiful aura. This is about confidence. This is about um, attracting what's meant for you. The golden stare in reference to Rapunzel's hair to me represents your crown and look at all this yellow behind her. It's ascension. Nothing can stop what's truly divine. Nothing can stop what's meant for you. Okay? You have to be open to receive. Someone could definitely um, be an artist or um, a communicator, a healer, light worker. musician either way again I feel like this is the energy of creation um, someone is um, stepping into a lot of um, the clears okay um, heightened gifts but 
I'm also getting getting information in the dream state. This is the energy of overcoming, battling the beast within and without. And again, freedom. You are guided out of captivity and you're free. You're free. What is this Eight of Swords? What is the Eight of Swords? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Because Sagittarius is free. Okay. There was a time when you, you didn't know yourself. You didn't understand your energy, your power. Um, this represents an energy of someone who wanted to take. Take your title. Take what was yours. Take your energy. Keep you trapped. Okay. This can represent a Gemini. Gemini rising. Someone with Gemini placements. Gemini moon. More about the Eight of Swords, please. For Sagittarius. Hanged man in reverse. Illusions to represent a Pisces energy. Okay. Um, this is the energy of someone that was under an illusion. Possibly by this uh, high priestess. Someone who only knew manipulation within this organization, this family, or this karmic cycle or situation someone was under an illusion when they trapped you or when they tried to trap you or for some you were trapped you were through energy work negative energy dark magic even just manipulation and control lies that trapped your energy that had you under an illusion to where your energy could be sourced, funneled, siphoned. Okay? Your third eye was attacked. Someone knew something about your destiny before you did, and they wanted to keep you trapped with them. Okay? Someone here, okay, was under an illusion. They, they couldn't even see your worth, but they knew that there was something there, possibly. Okay. Um, there's something here to do with rejection. You were trapped through rejection. You were held through energy, work, or manipulation and control, and... You felt trapped, although you were being rejected, okay? Very complex. Some of you were a sacrificial lamb in this situation, being led to the slaughterhouse. There was something that you just didn't see. You were suspended, stuck. Tell me more about this Eight of, of Swords. Who is this Eight of Swords energy? Here font. Okay. Some of you could have tours. Um, high aspect in your chart. Or this could represent a karmic energy um, connected to this high priestess or connected to this Gemini or this capture that was in cahoots. Okay. To keep you trapped. Okay. Definitely have all the moon energies of water energy when it's a low vibrational high priestess energy um that was keeping the secret that was doing this work so we have this hair font in reverse okay which is taurus energy misuse of knowledge heavy heavy spiritualists here and manipulation this can represent um, a family 
coven, a group of individuals, or um, someone with, that's, that was in a marriage, okay? A karmic third party situation. Yeah, something to do with family or so, your family was attacked or there was something, some type of hold or something to do with manipulation, control, negative energy surrounding a family or a secret society, okay? Ten of Pentacles, corruption. Someone may have stole from you taking advantage of you in some way. Yeah, a queen of wands. Okay. There definitely has something to do with obsession here. Um, humiliation, sex. Okay. With the queen of wands here, this is about jealousy, manipulation, control. Someone very calculating and cold. So your captor was being controlled by someone or working with someone. I feel more controlled that doesn't take any culpability away because ultimately someone here sees their victim as a six of cups. So it's very warped. But at the same time, when they have the opportunity, there was manipulation, control, in relation to money or sex or cruelty to keep someone trapped and bound and under an illusion. Someone was guided out. And then they're speaking their truth. They're in control. Infinite possibilities. Confidence, luxury, happiness, abundance. Abundance means something different for everyone. It can be financially abundant. It can represent stability, freedom, peace, joy, creativity, passion, truth. Now someone wants a new beginning. A captor wants a new beginning with someone that they try to make their victim. But the victim is not the victor. Free from the darkness and the chaos and the confusion. Someone is speaking their truth. Someone is no longer stuck, delayed. Insecure. Someone's focused. And inspired. And is inspiring others. The closet. What's the closet? What's the closet?
everything that's in the closet is being released. The secrets, the corruption. Possibly about a Capricorn on Earth energy. It's Judgment Day, okay? Someone's free here. Someone's liberated. And in this freedom and liberation, there's exposure. It's inevitable. What's the closet? Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles. The corruption, the control, has been relinquished. The secrets are exposed. Someone's left out in the cold. Someone's experiencing karma for what they did for their lies, for their thievery, for their trickery. Seven of Swords, for their negative energy, for their dark spell work, for all that they tried to steal from a situation by keeping someone bound, stuck, trapped. Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, air energy, earth energy, exposure, judgment. Where someone had someone as their victim, held captive, things that, that they would never find their way out. Everything that was focused upon that individual is happening to someone else, okay? left out in the cold, wrapped up in their own negative energy, the court systems, karma, financial problems, secrets exposed. Within a family, for sure. Manipulation revolving a divine connection, possibly. But while these individuals, these negative forces who manipulated energy to try to steal someone else's birthright, are dealing with their karma someone is moving toward true happiness you know someone was led out of the darkness out from under the hands of their captor into true wish fulfillment happiness love What did you want from me is what Sagittarius wants to know. What did you want from me? What did someone truly want from me? What did my captor truly want from me? They wanted... Your, this captor energy could have air, highly aspected, specifically Gemini. But it appears that uh, 
they didn't know what they wanted. They wanted to trap you. Because that's the only way that they knew how to hold on to someone. Again, maybe they were heavily influenced by this energy. Maybe they were just dark and attracted to you because of your light and was confused. Maybe the demon fell for the angel. <laughs> but with the nine of swords in reverse, nines represent conflict before an ending, you know, divine timing, divine justice. This person didn't know what they wanted from you. They were heavily under some type of illusion or mental issues. Someone may have been suffering from some type of mental, emotional instability when they met you. Okay, so they didn't know what they wanted from you. But they maybe were hoping in some way that you could heal them. And maybe they were intentionally trying to steal your light. Maybe they were unintentionally doing it. But either way, they didn't know what they wanted. They were just trying to perceive something a certain way, or they were just trying to heal with your light. <laughs> That's what they wanted. In some cases, they wanted Yeah, I don't know. They were confused. They, they, they wanted your energy. <sighs> they wanted your energy. Oh, wow. They wanted your energy. They wanted to, your third eye. They wanted to... Wow. They want it they want it to repress something in it within you. They didn't want you to look at women within. They they want to suppress you. They want to control you. but they couldn't. They put you through hell and in some cases almost killed you. And in, and in, and in a lot of cases you ended up dying. I'm talking about a spiritual. I'm talking about like the scorpionic energy, like the death card. It it was total detachment from it was an initiation. A dark night of the soul and a literal spiritual death to be reborn. In captivity so many, you experienced torture, betrayal after betrayal after betrayal, lies, pain, deception, anything you could think of, anxiety, physical problems with your health, mental, emotional. Someone wanted to...
bring you where they were. They wanted to confuse you, change your perception, rush in, steal, kill, destroy, and somehow manipulate you and bring you into their dark world. Someone was connected to several feminine energies that were either they were under an illusion by or they were working with to control you and take every source of energy that you had so that they could survive. Give me one more about what do they want from you. Sagittarius wants to know what do they want from me. Yeah, it's just swords, 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 swords. They wanted to steal your energy, energy vampire. They wanted you stuck in the darkness with them. Or they wanted to use you, keep on using me until you use me up. That's all they wanted was your light, was your energy, an energy vampire. That's it. That's it. When they found out that you were gone, they looked in the mirror and realized that they were hell. They were hell. They saw the true nature of who they really were. They also realize who you are. And all of the energy it took for someone of a higher negative power to control them, to prevent something from coming together. But what do they want from you, Sagittarius? You saw all the swords. You saw the high priestess in the reading twice. They wanted your energy. They wanted control. It's an energy vampire, period. Well, they came back and found out that you were gone, their energy source was gone, all of manipulation and corruption um, within this group, within this family didn't work. People were angry as hell, okay? There you go, that they couldn't control Sagittarius. This is like a lot of competition, a lot of anger, addictions, obsession over Sagittarius. Temptation. Unrealistic desires. And magic. Sagittarius faced their shadows. Sagittarius was able to walk up that path. Sagittarius understands that their loyalties lie. Sagittarius purged the negativity. Sagittarius is no longer a victim. Sagittarius is waiting for their ships to come in. There was plotting. There was planning while all of this manipulation was going on, okay, with these earth and water sign energies.
and Sagittarius was being guided out by a higher power. All that was lost and stolen, all in captivity, was being returned in a greater and more powerful way. Sagittarius always saw the way, felt the way, but they were just blocked, blocked, blocked. In getting there, but the way now is clear. The way now is clear. The way now is clear. This Empress in reverse, okay, this negative <clears throat> Taurus or Libra or this mother figure or the mother of someone's child or someone that's in a karmic situation surrounded by drama, this energy, this low vibrational, reclusive, barren, lacking inability to manifest heavy, burdensome, bad investment, codependent, energy, this false empress, this false high priestess cannot prevent the way anymore because your ancestors, Sagittarius, They're blocking all of that negative energy. All of that negative energy. Out of your life. This false divine masculine, this, you know, uh, narcissist. Controlling, chaotic, forceful energy is blocked. Whoever this is, this emperor, this empress. Try to trap you. They're blocked from you. They're blocked from your energy. Because you know the truth. And you're protected. You were victorious. <gasps> wow. You were victorious, Sagittarius, okay? You freed yourself. You were guided out. You have a whole team that's fighting for you. Beautiful. Freedom. Leo energy, fire. Justice. Clarity. And you get to walk through the energy of those who supported you, those who rescued you, and those who held you captive as a victor. Victory lap. Wow. What a story. What a story for Sagittarius. This wasn't a quick reading after all. Oh well.
I feel like it's a love story, baby, just say yes. Oh, we were both young when I first saw you. I feel like someone has made it out of a warped fairy tale and now they're moving into what's truly meant for them. Okay, what's truly meant for them. There could be a fire sign or a Leo, okay, or a fire water um, combination that's coming in. A past life soulmate, okay. Um, that is wish fulfillment, the truth. Wow. <laughs> Let me get a an outcome. Let me find a word for Sagittarius. Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords. And guys, I guess they wanted this reading to be longer because I probably won't be doing another update probably for at least a few more days um, because I have some meetings and of course I have the other signs to finish up before the end of the month so I guess it it, it went this way this 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 kind of warped love story uh, is a little bit longer for that reason we have the knight of swords okay um, this is about something coming towards you quickly a message um this there's a Gemini here that really has something to say and again like I said when your captor came back to find that you were gone they were stuck in their head they were confused they were starving more than likely for energy because they started to realize who they truly are without your energy without your light okay Regardless of that, there's someone that has a lot to say, okay? There could be someone that's watching you, uh, stalking you, wanting to tell you something. This is someone who's not the easiest with expressing their emotions, but they have something they want to say. So this could be someone that could be, you know, um, again, spying, stalking, watching, investigating your life. This could also represent an energy of someone that could be watching you, um online because they admire you because they learn from you because they want to tell you something um expect fast communication okay with this knight of swords energy what else for sagittarius to end this reading three of love okay someone is coming forward quickly okay to communicate about the fact that they are ready to stop playing games they want to talk about the fact that they are um they want forgiveness they want to bring you clarity they've been able to think about something for a really long time they know that they put you through a lot of pain and grief because of their deception or they want to talk about that the deception and pain and grief that they're experiencing you know what was me within a third party situation or they want to tell you about some type of deception that they have experienced that could give you insight into this whole situation more swords this Knight of Swords, I think this Knight of Swords just wants your energy. Okay, I don't see any cups. Well, actually, I take that back. This is the Three of Cups in reverse. Either way, same situation. This Knight of Swords wants to come and speak about, again, a third-party situation that they're walking away from. 
but three of cups is different from three of swords okay three of swords represents like endings and betrayal and deception the three of cups represents overindulgence um infidelity um addiction emotional manipulation so someone wants to come and tell you um something about the fact that they're leaving behind possibly a cancer or a water sign or some type of situation that they were caught up in um, that cause them to be emotionally disconnected from you okay um i feel like someone is just being exposed within their community they fell victim to some darker energy and um pleasures and again overindulgence I don't know what this energy wants but someone is coming quickly towards you to talk about what they've been through again this is like a very like self-centered narcissistic energy someone who probably is doesn't even have emotions but they are very emotionally manipulative so someone wants to come back and manipulate your emotions and talk about their situation what they've been through or someone expect communication from someone that may have been left in a third party a karmic energy coming towards you again cancer energy represent something that relates to family or a mother figure okay wow can we get any other information for Sagittarius please Sagittarius did something slip over in there no okay we have the sun beautiful okay um someone again is lost without you that's what they're going to say um, because it came out kind of sideways. Someone sees you as their son. You know, someone sees you as their light. They obviously do because they are an energy vampire. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. Someone wants your source of light back in their life. Someone wants to for surely communicate about being manipulated or being under some type of spell to where they couldn't see what this connection was until too late and they repress their emotions. They want a new beginning. They need your light, okay? They want to make you happy, um, but... It's a knight of swords coming towards you. It's a knight of swords coming towards you. Okay. Speaking about the past. Wanting to have your light shine on their woe is me situation. No, Sagittarius. No. Let me see what you have to say about that. What's that story has to say about this knight of, knight of swords coming toward them? <laughs> yes, it's too late. I need to focus on my own feelings. Wow, Sagittarius.
Yes, it's too late. This is what Sagittarius has to say about this this knight of swords or whoever's coming forward. Sagittarius is in their energy. They know what um They've been enlightened. They can see the truth clearly. This Knight of Swords coming forward about a Three of Cups in reverse energy. They're walking away. Well, it's me. In their feelings, emotionally, not really because it's a Knight of Swords, but it's, it's the energy of someone coming forward to speak about their interactions with a third party has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you. You're not a free source of energy for people who dwell in the dark. That's not your mission here. You're free. You're sovereign. You've been victorious over your captors. You're walking towards the victory and towards happiness, fulfillment, and love. Joy, success, and peace. This is the end of a cycle. This is the end of a cycle. And Sagittarius says, yes, it is too late. <laughs> 